Hi guys, Matt here from Shep's Aquatics. So, as you can probably guess from the thumbnail, um, today we're going to be setting up a culture for some vinegar eels. So, we do have our culture here. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get the video to focus, but... Uh, no, it's not going to focus, but there is definitely a lot of vinegar eels in that little culture so we'll just go with what we're going to need um, this is one I've set up earlier um, I just haven't added the vinegar eels into it yet so we have a glass jar I use a glass um, decanter um, liquor decanter they are brand new but I just like the shape of them and um, because they come to a point if I really wanted to, I could probably half a stray out of these drawers, but I'm not going to. You need your apple cider vinegar. Any apple cider vinegar will do, basically, um, as long as it's natural. Um, some water to mix with your vinegar. Some apple to cut up and add to your culture, just like this one, for a bit of feed for the vinegar eels. And of course, your starting culture, because they don't actually grow from thin air. Unfortunately, um, like I thought when I th first set one up um, about three months ago, I thought, oh yeah, you just add the apple, you just add the vinegar, and it's a natural little worm that lives in in it, but unfortunately it doesn't. <laughs> so we, 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 we bug it up on that one. Okay, so, and yeah, I'll just cut, I'm just going to cut up the apple first of all, and um, add it to the, add it to the jar, so back in a sec and just like that guys we have a cut up apple so we'll just bring our, our jar to the front bring it down a little bit so you can see what exactly what I'm doing so the apple we just drop in the jar just like that that's probably well and truly more than enough but that's what we have so then we add the vinegar Um, any amount of vinegar will do guys um, just spill it everywhere um, but try and keep your ratio of vinegar to to water about 50-50 so um, these jars are 375 mils so I used about one and a half half in each so that's roughly just under under half a litre of water so that's what I'll add next is just fill the rest up with water about all you had it your mix it up a little bit um, and your culture is um, as the apple starts to decompose and that it will sink so don't be too worried about that um, I did this one over here yesterday um, so it's turned a little bit brown but that's all you need to do is Add it, mix it up a little bit. So I'll just bring these forward. Now my culture. Because I'm making two cultures here, I'll add roughly 50, 50, 50 of my culture here. This one actually come off eBay. So I'll just add, I had about 50% of my culture into this one and the other 50% into this one. I'm going to keep this little jar in case I decide to, to sell all my culture to someone else. So just give this a quick stir, get the vinegar eels down, down in the mix. 
even though they'll they'll go into the mix they'll quite happily go through it all and um, as my research has suggested they will live in this culture as is in a dim dimly lit area that is at a constant temperature um, so in behind one of your tanks in your fish room um, in on top of your cupboards just about anywhere um, they'll live for years so next off we put a a bit of paper towel or something over the top to stop any any bugs, any flies, any fruit flies or anything like that getting into the culture. It needs to be paper towel because the culture does actually have to breathe breathe air. Um, breathe air and basically all you do now is you you leave the culture for um, roughly a month um, and let your guinea your eels um, reproduce and um, and grow and become millions of them. And there you have it guys in um, probably in the next month or even less depending on how quickly this culture grows I will start using using vinegar eels in my fish room so Next stuff I have to do is just sit these in a nice um, secluded place which will be over there underneath this fish tank in behind the power board there. Um, it's a nice nice dark place, well, semi dark place but um, a nice constant temperature as we try to keep the house at a constant temperature. Um, and I hope you guys like the video and we'll We'll see you in the next one, so make sure to like and subscribe, and if you guys do anything different when you're making your culture, just let me know, um, write it in the comments. Um, every comment, good or bad, is appreciated. Um, <laughs> so, so thanks guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.